Yeah, I want to get Jerby's on the uh, on the moderation squad so that way he can help. Yeah, there's three total streamers that I see on Twitch for um, Mario Party. It's me, Jerby's, and then somebody else doing a. Uh, I didn't see who it was, but they were doing like a CPU tournament. Pretty great. <laughs> Star. Oh, it's mine. Let's go. I think. Yes. No, yeah. the bounces, dude. Uh, no, waddle these nuts. Please. Not right now. Only because um. I need to watch the new world record and see what strats are implemented because new world record is a 239. It's a three minute improvement over the last world record. So I want to see what is, uh, what's really, what's, what's, I need to learn. <laughs> In short, I need to learn. Three are really money bags. Oh, we already had one. Break it. Okay. Finish. Forty-two is not terrible. It's fine. Clear. Yo! Whoa. Gaming Sanctum, what's good? How you doing? Good to see you. She's doing a little sleepy movie. Yeah. Star. Cyberpunk? I do want to go back to that game eventually. I probably won't play it on stream, but like... Someday. Because aside from how buggy it was and everything, like... The story was interesting enough for me to be... Engaged in it. And, like, the gunplay was pretty fun. So, like, I want to believe. You know? Oh, my God, they're all playing the game, dude. Oh, I almost lost. I hate when they decide to play the game. <laughs> I mean, it's always possible. You never know. All right, please no Bowser in the center space, at least. Thank you. Flower. I was deciding between those two, so. This is good enough, though. Oh, my Z button didn't work at all, dude! No! <sighs> it's fine. Pain without love. Pain. You can't get more off. Pain. I like it real. Cause I'd rather feel pain than. Oh, what is this? Star. Cry is the Z button. <laughs> You're right, though. The Z button betrayal. To be fair, the Z button's not great on the Hori. 
I need to press it harder. That's my problem. I press it too soft, and it's like, I don't know what you just said. Uh, did. I don't know what you just said. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. Yes. The objective is to try to ground pound all the poles that don't have spikes. <laughs> we talked about the previous one. But what's funny is that you can ground pound a spike and then still play the game. So you can ground pound like a bunch of spikes first and still win. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, the butterflies hide the poles, so they give you a brief moment in time to try to memorize the poles, and then go from there. Yeah, what Prince Leaf said. Pretty much. I hate how sometimes I lose a second and a half on this, and sometimes I'm like tied my gold. I don't know what I'd do differently. ass ass in that's some hardcore trolling right there if i say so myself <laughs> all right i have a bad feeling about this okay that's not terrible i'll take that we haven't seen the goomba yet tonight that's why i had a bad feeling i love how the line is just not as accurate you want to go like below wherever it's at it's really silly i think i went too far below though but we should still be in the 90s, I think. Oh, I took way too long. I was the one that finished last. Yeah, still in the 90s. Look at that. The plant causes lag when it grows. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Oh, God, I love having more RNG in my run. I love that. This run's not good enough, in my opinion, but since I'm still ahead, I'll go for it. I'll just play everything risky. It's fine. Clear. 
I feel like my gold is not accurate there. Well, I think the gold actually involves the computers getting squished and less lag going on. I need to see what a time looks like with that. Ew, 26? Get that out of here, man. Disgusting. Slow. Ew. Ew. Disgusting. Alright, you ready for this hot tech? You ready for this hot teetering tower timing tech? The TTTT? I think we can get a 50 for our best. We're gonna see. This will definitely save like three and a half seconds, I think. But it's gonna be risky and I can fail, and if I fail, I don't really care, it's fine. Not a big deal. Oh, this is hot already. Hot. Finish. That's a 50. That's some hot tech. So the visual cues I use there to optimize that game, I explained it in my YouTube video. If you haven't checked it out, exclamation point YouTube to figure it out. You find the 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 tutorial there. Um, Ready? Yeah, come on, Luigi Bush. Uh, what I use there is uh, I let the camera get, like, I, I stand in the center tower. I let the camera get centered. The moment the camera stops moving and it's locked in place, I go either up left or up right, depending on whatever direction I want to go in, and run to the edge. And by the time I get to the edge, the tower should be just starting to move. And you need the tower to move to give you enough momentum to get off to the next side. So as long as you, like, run and do that every time, you should be able to get a pretty good uh, teetering tower time. And that should give you like a, again, that was a 50 right there. So if you do that, you should get around a 50. So you can see what your time is. I mean, I guess it depends on where you split, but. That was a really slow one. Yeah, uh, Finest, this is pretty... Pretty okay. Clear. It's not a fantastic run, but it's good enough to, like, see if it can go anywhere. Now, if we can get to World 4-3 and they fall off, that would be amazing. We would save, like, 10 seconds if it's early. Ready? Hey. Bo's still laying there. All the potato. All right, chat. If they fall off, this run becomes pretty damn sick. And if they don't, then it just becomes an average run, where it's like, oh, we'll continue it, see if we can get some good time saves and whatnot. But it's whatever. Ready? Remember our best run today? We we're minus 15 in World 7-4. That was our best run so far. God, I feel like we almost fell off. I had to hit the brakes because Luigi was not turning with me. Unfortunately, they did not fall off. They could still fall off, like, late, but at the spot I was hoping for, they did not fall off. 
The dream is slightly dead, yes. This is gonna be insanely tough to world record. I'm gonna need some sick times coming up here. And a sick hammer drop and everything. Clear. Lost a little time because I had a break. You fell off, less ratio. Can't quite do that yet, but I'm learning. Yeah, they can fall out first turn. It's pretty nuts. I don't think I've gotten that on my uh, on my golds yet. But it's pretty ridiculous when it does happen. If they usually fall off on the big one, the big where the camera sways, the death turn, as I call it. Clear. Having something on the side like that is actually the fastest because I think it's less travel time to get to the side booze rather than the top and bottom. Pretty neat. Hey, thirteen uh, or sorry, thirty-five best possible time. Still available. Star. Going into world six. That's pretty dope. I actually might have lost that. I think I have nine. I had 11, okay. Never forget. That was close. <laughs> Alright, this is our second best run today, I think. Tied for our second best. Oh, man, that felt really good until the end. Yeah, I lost it at the end. Unfortunate. World 5 with a positive time would be absolutely nuts. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Jedbo. You guys clip it, I'll put it in a YouTube video somehow. I'll make it happen. Lost time because they just bounced around, dude. Clear. World record's damn near dead, but we're still on PP pace at least. That's pretty cool. And this run was not even a great run again, man. We haven't gotten a god tier run yet today. We had some respectable times. No, I did not bake it. I didn't even know they posted today. I haven't checked YouTube at all today. I posted my video and then I was I've been busy. Today's been a jam-packed day. Nice! Got it. Finish! That was not the right strats I should have done, though. I was holding the wrong direction. Fallen Fury! Thank you for the 68 months! Oh, God! Dang! It's so long! I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you so much, Fallen Fury. Love your face. Hope you're doing well. Much love, my friend. Was it Street Fighter? Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I can't like change the pitch of my whistle too well yet. But just a couple weeks ago, I learned how to whistle chat. It was great. You guys. 
experience that with me live on stream. Bird, you mutter beyond you love. You mutter! Oh my goodness. Give me a sec. I'm playing the hardest minigame ever created. Yo, Legend of Kenix, thank you for the 20 months. Welcome back. Oh, it didn't split. Welcome back to the Swoop Squad. Enjoy the Emotes Hot Feather. 21 months. God, it's beautiful. And also, Prince Lee, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the Swoop Squad. Enjoy the Emotes and the Hot Feather yourself. I appreciate it. Thank you, both of you, for the sub love. Seriously, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's just so great. I hope you enjoy the Emotes. And the love. Oh shit. Ah, oh, just a coin over there, dude. Oh man. Chat, that was disgusting. Big winner. Okay, luckily we could still PB though. World record is way out of the question now, but PB is possible. Start. We're gonna grab his ass. I barely have a grip on his ass, that monkey ass. Finish. What's up, D train? Different job during the day? No. I'm full time on streaming. I've been full time for the last three ish years. I just tend to do a lot of stuff during the day, so I figured nighttime is better. I've always had the nighttime slot since I've started streaming. And that stemmed from streaming while I was in college. Job at Target recently started to go down the crapper. That's fair. Those kind of jobs often go that way too. I've been, I was there for Ross and everything. And I, you know, I was there for two years and it sucked. But I hope that everything goes well for you, Fallen. I'm pulling for you, buddy. Good luck. I'm pulling for you. Oh, Jerby's run just died. I think since his run wasn't doing so hot, he just went for the vertical because it was closest. I'd never like to go for vertical on, on Crane game. Oh, what is this RNG, dude? I have to wait a little bit. I have to. Come on. Okay. I didn't feel like losing another run to ball over. It might be cyanide. I honestly forget when I went full time. <laughs> uh, let's see. I started streaming in 2014. I think I worked with Ross until 20. It might be five years, actually. Holy shit! You're right. I think it was 2017. Oh man. God, I've been doing this for five years, man. That's wild. I'm really hoping that- oh shit. Ah oh, shit, come on, man. I am really hoping that YouTube can take off a bit because... That would be the dream, to have income from there. Have income from YouTube. So that way you guys don't have to spend money on Twitch, like... You don't have to spend money to support me. You could just watch videos to support. You know, that's what I always 
envisioned as as a thing in the future you know which is why i've been working so hard on it with since last august we're getting closer and closer it's very exciting it's very very exciting Start. and youtube is so fresh and new still to me for making content on there that like it's exciting. Like, if I have a bad stream where, like, there's not a good turnout, it's very stressful, you know? If I look at my numbers for the month and I'm like, I don't feel like I've made enough money this month, then I get stressed towards the back half of the month, you know? YouTube, if a video doesn't hit, I'm like, oh, I'll just put another one out tomorrow, you know? <laughs> it's exciting. And I know if you're full-time YouTube, it's a different thing. It's a different animal, of course, right? But, like, it's just so refreshing, you know? You watch all of it. Oh my god, cyanide. Are you prepping because we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do a race in uh, three days, I guess now uh, on 420? Ready? <laughs> Go! <laughs> I just have a light bulb. Get away from me. To watch the bottom there. Oh no, man. Honestly, that video helped a lot of my watch time hours for the requirement for partnership. That one, I need like, uh, you need 3K watch time hours, or 4K watch time hours, and that video alone has netted like 260 watch hours. And I'm like, oh my god. That's such a huge help. <laughs> my idea is getting the requirements by, um, before August, because that's again why I started uploading way more frequently, and like taking it more seriously, so. Do we have the perfect spin cycle? Oh, it's close. Now it's 267. Holy shit! Sign out, you're wild. I appreciate that, though. Seriously. Thank you all for who's tuned into videos and, and made the YouTube dream a possibility. You know? The motivation is extremely high on YouTube. Uh, life has been kind of wild these last, like, two months. Uh, but I know when things settle down, I'll have a lot of time to just be able to <sighs> Shit. Oh my god Hold on <laughs> a little stressful We did not have the perfect spin cycle earlier, so <laughs> Finish. Uh, But yeah, I know there'll be more videos coming out and then like I think Right now the the goal is obviously like super focused on watch time hours but once I hit that requirement and I no longer have to worry about the YouTube partnership side, that's when I can really sit down and like really brainstorm, not just get co content out, but really start brainstorming and like, okay, what's the next step to get to the next milestone, right? So I try to take it step by step, small milestones. Right now it's getting YouTube partnership and then it's getting 2000 subs on YouTube. And then, oh, oh, we're good. And then going from there, you know? A cool hat speedrun? No thanks. <laughs> Talk about the business side of things. Yeah, and that's something I never used to enjoy talking about. You know, it's always weird. Because I never wanted to, um, I don't know, bring up the money side of things for stream. You know? Obviously, it's uh, important for me as a full time person. But I always wanted to keep that stuff out of the the talking space, I guess. But ever since I learned about how important it could be to, you know, Finish. get YouTube rolling and like 
it wouldn't change how often I stream, right? I would still stream so much because I love it too much. But like, if YouTube could be rolling, and that's where people can can like support, so that way they don't have to like be like, oh man, I gotta spend money on a sub, or I gotta go buy bits, or you know, I should donate for this. Like, just like watch the video and enjoy it, and then that's how I get paid. That would be so much nicer for everybody, I think. I think everybody would enjoy that a lot, to be honest. <laughs> I think I think that's the play. Isn't it in as well? Can't tell. I think it's pretty good. If I lose this, I'll be sad. Yeah, it's, it's bad for trying to get started, for sure. Unless you have a following already of some sort. And since I do have, I mean, we're a small size channel, of course. Don't get me wrong, you know, we, our average viewership's like in the hundreds, like like 110 usually and stuff like that. And our, uh, and our following count's like about to hit 21K. So I know that we're not like a tiny channel, but we are a small size creator. But it's something to start with, you know, and it's exciting to see because, again, a YouTube video, if one of them hits the algorithm well, then that's just the beginning of the floodgates opening, which is pretty exciting. And for someone who's already been in the content creating field for seven years, like, I felt like YouTube was definitely the next choice. The next uh, step in the, in the content creation chapter for me. So, it's very exciting. I'm like super excited about the future coming up. Finish. Clear. Okay. 9-1. This is going to be the make or break for the most part. Not a money bag. Not a money bag. Not a money bag. I think I got that. I have to. I have to hope that I got that. I didn't get that one either. I, I'm gonna pray that I got that one. I have to give the chance. I have to give the run a chance, dude. Okay. Well, not great RNG, but survivable. Not great RNG, but survivable. Ready? I'm really bad at that one now. I have to get better at it again. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's literally like submitting a lottery ticket. But I will say though, it, the discoverability on YouTube is much friendlier than on Twitch, which is why I'm excited to, if something hits. I've had two things hit for a small amount, but I, f I got that taste, you know? And that's the, the Mario Party world record videos I did. Two of those broke into the, like the 2000s reviews, which is exciting. Um, This is just going to be RNG. It's all down to RNG on how the last few levels play out. Oh, bad RNG, man. Made it work, though. I went risky, because why not? Okay. 
We could save some time here if there's a limited number of platforms. Man, it's gonna really come down to the very end here. <laughs> it's really cool that I got a video that hit 51k views, though. Uh, fine, that's, that's dope. Still. Please have less platforms. Okay. First PB in years, maybe? The potential is there. slow at the end there. I mean, that's a PB! <laughs> That's the first time I PB'd in, in how long? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Second day back and we PB'd. It's nuts. Uh, it's been five years. 